In today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to represent rational functions in our real life situations. So let us define first what is a rational function. So when we say rational function, it is a function in the form of f of x equals p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions, and q of x is not equal to zero function. That means the domain of f of x is the set of all values of x, where q of x is not equal to zero. So this is the basic concept that you need to remember every time we represent rational functions in real life situations. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, an object is to travel a distance of 10 meters. Express velocity, that is v, as a function of travel time, that is t, in seconds. So to answer this question, let us use the formula for distance, speed, and time. So let us have a triangle. On the top, that is distance. On the left, that is speed. And on the right, that is time. If you are looking for distance, that is speed, multiply by time. And if you're looking for speed, that is distance, divide by time. And if you're looking for time, that is distance, divide by speed. In our problem, we have to express velocity that is in V as a function of travel time in seconds. So therefore, velocity that is same as the speed. So therefore, we are going to use this formula to express the given problem. So speed that is velocity in travel time. So that is V of T. And then distance that is 10 meters. And then time that is in seconds. So therefore, speed that is V of T and distance that is 10 divided by time. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, suppose that C of T equals 5T over T squared plus 1 in milligrams represents the concentration of a drugs in a patient's bloodstream in T hours after the drugs was administered. Construct a table of values for C of T for T equals 1, 2, 5, and 10. So let us construct a table of values for C of T and T. So let us have T. And then we have C of T. Then let's have 1. Then we have 2. And then we have 5. And lastly, we have 10. So all we have to do is to find the value of C of T when T is 1, 2, 5, and 10. And we are going to use the formula C of T equals 5T over T squared plus 1. So let's say the value of T that is 1. So this will be 5 times 1 over 1 squared plus 1. 5 multiplied by 1, that is 5. And then 1 squared, that is 1, plus 1, that is 2. So 5 divided by 2, that is 2.5. And this will be the value of C of 1. What if the value of t, that is 2? So let's say 5 multiplied by 2 over 2 squared plus 1. 5 multiplied by 2, that is 10. And then 2 squared, that is 4 plus 1, that is 5. And 10 divided by 5, that is 2. And this will be the value of c of 2. So let us write here, 2.5, then 2, and then... The value of t, let's say 5, that is 5 times 5 over 5 squared plus 1. 5 times 5, that's 25. And then 5 squared is also 25 plus 1, that is 26. And if you are going to divide 25 over 26, we are going to have 0 0.962. And this will be the value of c of 5. Let's have 0 0.962. And then lastly, we have C of 10. That is 5 times 10 over 10 squared plus 1. 5 times 10, that's 50. 10 squared, that's 100 plus 1. 
So we are going to have 50 over 101. And if you are going to divide 50 over 101, we are going to have 0 0.495. And this will be the value of C of 10. And this will be our answer. And if you are going to interpret this one, as you can see in the given table, it indicates that the maximum drug concentration occurs around one hour after the drug was administered. That means, after one hour, the table suggested that the drug concentration decrease until it's almost zero. And that will be our answer. On example number three, in an organ pipe, the frequency F of a vibration of air is inversely proportional to the length, that is L, of the pipe. Suppose that the frequency of vibration is 10 foot pipe is 54 vibration per seconds. Express F as a function of L. So to answer this question, let us review the concept of inverse variation. So let's say if we are going to have A varies inversely as B. If you are going to express this one, that is A equals K over B, where K is a constant in A variation. So in our problem, the frequency F of a vibration of air is inversely proportional. So we are going to have F equals K, that is a constant over length, that is L. So let us identify the given. So the length, that is 10. And then, the frequency of vibration, that is 54. So all we have to do to express F as the function of L, let us find first the value of the constant. So let us have 54 equals K over 10. So let us have K equals 54 multiplied by 10. So the value of the constant, 54 times 10, that is 540. And to express F as the function of L, we are going to have F of L equals 540, that is the constant over L. And this will be our answer. On the last example, the distance from Manila to Baguio is around 250 kilometers. On letter A, construct a function S where S is the speed of travel that describes the time it takes to drive from Manila to Baguio. On letter B, how long will it take you to get to Baguio if your average speed is 25, 40, and 50 kilometers per hour? Just like in example number one, let us use the formula for the distance, speed, and time. So let us have a triangle. On the top, that is a distance. On the left, that is speed. And on the right, that is time. Since we have to express the time to take to drive from Manila to Baguio, we are going to use the formula time equals distance over speed. And we have to express this one as a function of s. So this will be t of s equals distance over speed. And this will be our answer on letter A. And then on letter B, let us have speed that is 25 kilometers per hour. So let us use this one to find how long will it take to Baguio if your speed is 25 kilometers per hour. So this will be T of S equals distance over speed. T of 25 equals distance that is 250 divided by speed that is 25. So this will be 10 and then we have an hour then we have s that is let's say 40 kilometers per hour so we have t of 40 equals 250 kilometers divided by 40 kilometers per hour so 250 divided by 40 that is 6.25 hours and then let's say speed is 50 kilometers per hour so that is t of 50 equals 250 equal over 50 and if you are going to divide this one we are going to have five 
hours. This will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.